Hi, welcome to another Arduino tutorial from RoboJax. My name is Ahmed Shamshiri from Canada. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can control an AC bulb using Arduino, either Arduino Nano, Micro, Mega, any version of Arduino to control a relay and then control an AC bulb. This can work with a low trigger and high trigger. You can get the code for this by clicking at the link below the video in the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. Now let me explain the module. The module that you might purchase will be either will have this type of Chinese label or English, but the functionality and everything is exactly the same. Here the power is written in Chinese and here it shows PWR and SW, the switch, or in Chinese, but actually they are the same and uh, as you can see we have different relay, but exactly five volts relay, five volts relay. And here they have written low level trigger and uh, here and here they, they have written low level trigger. This is VCC, this will be connected to 5 volts. GND, this is ground or 0 volts. So the two power from your battery will be connected to here and here. And this input is, the N is the signal from your Arduino that receives. And when the power is established, this light will turn on, telling you that this module has power. And when the signal comes to control this relay, this LED will turn on green. To drive this, we need a transistor, we need the resistors, and also we need a free-willing diode to protect the relay from the release of the energy from the coil. So really, we have three pin. One is normally open, this is common, and normally closed. The wires that you connect, one wire will be here, and the other wire will be, by default, you will use it here. This normally open means these two wires are not connected, they are open. When the relay is energized, this will be connected. When the relay is de-energized, this will be disconnected. But sometimes you might want to connect it normally closed, meaning even if there is no power, when you connect two wires, they are already connected like that. So the two wire will be connected and your load will be on, but when it receives a signal, it will be turned off. So if you want to use it that way, connect your wire there. But in both cases, your middle wire will not change. So switch your wires either here or here, so you can get the different result. But this is the main one that we will use. The relay width is 17.1 millimeters. Length of the module is 42.9 or 43 millimeters. Depth of the module is 17.5 millimeters. And if you're interested in weight, it weighs 12.8 grams. And here to briefly explain the relay. Relay has a winding. When it receives DC voltage, this coil has a core and this will be magnetized and it will pull down the one of the contacts. And in our case, relay has three wires or contacts. One is at the top, then bottom, and then at the middle. This is that's why we call it common, and this is normally closed when there is when the switch is off, there is no energy. This is up, and the contact is connected with the top, so this is called normally closed. When we switch, when we turn the switch on, the contact goes down, and the voltage. This is AC, and this is the bulb, will come and pass through this, and the light will be turned on. So this is off and this is on. What we do is in our Arduino that instead of the battery, Arduino will send a signal and this resistor, transistor and other components will turn the relay on in the module. This is an AC desktop bulb and this is a power plug that I connected to the wall and 120 volts which will turn on and off. Now at this point I've cut one of these two wires at this point and twisted it and soldered it can be connected to relay. Job of relay is to connect this and the AC bulb is on or AC load whatever fan you have and disconnect it to turn it off. So I will be connecting these two to the relay. And here I've connected the two wires from AC bulb to these two pins common and normally open. Let me explain the wiring with Arduino Uno. 
on the module that you can see this VCC is yellow ground is green at the middle one and then N is blue and here yellow is connected to 5 volts VCC ground is connected to the ground of Arduino at this pin and blue is the input to this module has been connected to pin 3 Here is the wiring for Arduino Micro. Yellow or VCC is connected to 5 volts, which has been labeled 5 volts. The 5 is on the right side. The ground has been connected to the ground of Arduino Micro. And the blue is connected to pin 3 here. And here is the wiring for Arduino Nano. The same as Arduino Uno, yellow is connected to 5 volts here. The ground pin is connected to the ground here. And pin blue is connected to D3 or digital pin 3. Let me explain the code. This is the basic code. I, the advanced code will come after this. We define a relay pin as pin 3. Any other digital pin that you wish you can assign. And this is a loop delay this when the loop runs we have some delays you can remove this if you remove the command in the loop which i will explain next inside the setup we define relay pin the same pin that we have here is this is as if i type 3 as an output so this assigns that pin as an output and immediately we set the initial condition for example if your relay is low trigger then you know, with a high you can turn it off so we use digital write, pen 3, and high. So this will set the initial state of a relay to be turned off. We initialize the serial monitor with 9600 baud, and then we print this text, and we give the user for two seconds to read the text. Inside the loop, digital write, relay pen, we set it as low. This will turn the relay on, and we print the text. Serial serial dot serial print ln and then inside this double quotation we print our text and then we give it two seconds so the relay will be on for two seconds then we turn off the relay using digital write relay pen high high will turn it off and then we print this text and we give it two seconds for the time to be high and then we print this so we know the loop has ended and then this is a delay that we define above one second more will be delay here and the loop will go and repeat all the tasks over again. And here is a demonstration of the code in both advanced or simple one. The same demonstration will work. The relay is now connected. This is not connected to AC yet. And this is my AC bulb. And once I connect this, make sure never touch here because this is very dangerous and just leave it like that and make sure you do not leave this on the metallic surface now this is working I'm just connecting the AC power and as you can see here the green light is on when the green light is on the light also turns on And here to open the serial monitor, you can click on Tools, Serial Monitor, or you can press Control Shift and M, or you can click on the right side on this. Now we don't see anything here because the serial monitor is initialized with 9600 baht, and this will not have the same as you can see here, it's 115,200. Let's change it to 9600 baht and then the text will appear here when the relay is on it shows this off and then the loop finished now again on off and here is how you select arduino nano click on tool board and select arduino nano then click on tools port and then select the port that you are using with your device upload the code 
And here is a demonstration with Arduino Nano. As you can see, the relay turns on and off with the green light and also the AC bulb is on and off. And here is how you set your Arduino with Arduino Micro. Go to go to Tool, Boards, and scroll down until you see Arduino Genuino Micro. And that's it. Select your port and upload the code. Here is a demonstration of uh, Arduino Micro that is controlling the relay and AC bulb with the same exact code. Thank you for watching. This was how to control an AC bulb using this 5 volt relay. If you like this video, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, post it in the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. And subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos.